Today, we're going to take a look and review the Air Jordan 1 Chicago's by PK. PK, let's talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's your boy AB and welcome to my channel. First off, I want to say thank you to the new subscribers. Mm -hmm. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the family, being Team AB. You like what you see, hit the like button, then hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And with the notification bell, notification bell, right, 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 right. For those that are already Team AB, thank you so much and I appreciate your time and thank you for rocking with your boy all this time. Much appreciated. Your boy's grinding, putting in the work, We're trying to get it out here. So thank you, I appreciate you. So let's get started and let's talk about why you clicked on this video. Bam! The Air Jordan 1 Chicago Colorway by PK, Perfect Kicks. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now y'all know that from if you looked at my last video, that's up here below, I mean up here up top, I like to do the, the UAs, this is a UA. I like to do it for educational purposes so y'all can see, have a first-hand look from your boy on what's real and what's what's UA out there because I don't want y'all to to go out there and think you purchasing, think you purchasing a retail, and then you getting one of these joints, you getting a UA joint, all right? You know, uh, I think that PK's done a great job. Couple issues, we'll get to that in a second. A couple of issues, but for the most part, I mean, I like the shoe, they did a great job. I definitely rocked this sneaker, but it's got a couple of issues that can get you on call out. Y'all know me, man, I'm, I'm, I'm nobody that, to be thinking like, you know, it's a real big deal on call out, man. You wanna call me out, I'm not really worried about it. You know, we can have a conversation. I ain't tripping about that, you know. This shoe retails for about $1,500. I ain't got $1,500. I just put it to you just like that. Your boy don't got $1,500 for a sneaker, you know. And all my cats with, with families and children, you know, who may be in the same boat as me, yeah so let's start with the upper section of the shoe so you got this black leather soft leather with a lot of cushion that's going on in the shoe with the top part which is legit the red softer tumbled leather um it's it's soft but at the same time it's it's uh it's durable so it's like durable but it's soft at the same time so it, uh, it's got like a, it's not as it's not as soft as that air jordan 3 free throw line it's not that soft but it's still soft it's still good then you have the white panel middle panel here it's a softer leather than the red but it's still durable as well then you have the black nike sign on both sides black nike check boom swoosh swoosh and then you got the jordan wings bam jordan wings logo jordan wings logo all of which i think that pk really snuck that out the park man placement of where the logo is you know all the little stitchings and all that jazz it's all there it's all legit i think it's all in good spacing one thing though I think that the the Jordan 1, this particular model that PK has modeled after is the 2013 version. I don't think it's the 2015 version because the 2015 version came with that hourglass. It was that hourglass joint that was going on. 2013 was more like a tube looking deal with that jump man that was hideous on the back that nobody really cared for, but it was there. So we got it because it was the Chicago colorway. So <laughs> you know how that goes. This pretty much was, was tube shaped. It's like a tube shaped deal. And I think that's where PK, don't quote me on that because I haven't spoken to them or anything like that. I have no knowledge of what they got going on. <clears throat> so you still got good stitching, you know, still legit. 
It's just, I don't think it's the 2015 model, it's the 2013. So I don't think that's a call out where they are like, oh man, you don't have the hourglass. No, nah, bro, you know, if you look at the 2013, you know, but you don't have the jump man. So maybe you can be called out for the 2013 shape, but no jump man, who knows? To me, not a big deal. So the shoe comes with three pair of laces. It comes with the black laces, then you got the, the red laces, and then you got the white laces. So they all came in the package and they were properly packaged and properly wrapped. None of that cinnamon swirl, cinnamon roll stuff. They do the little, whoa, 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 whoa. None, of, none of that, none of that. They properly packaged them. I appreciate that by PK. And then they come with laced up with the black, the black laces. I lace these up. You actually only get the one little deal that Jordan ones come with. The tongue here, PK got this. I thought they were gonna get caught slipping, but if you purchase a Jordan one and the tongue folds, if it crinkles or if it's flimsy, then it's no good. This one has some strength to it. It's pretty strong, durable. It's uh, legit. And the tongue has like a nylon feel to it with fabrication going on. Got some fabric here on the back. It's pretty stuffy, pretty, pretty soft. It's got some good size to it, pretty fluffy. Got some fluffiness going on in here. Some good cushion going on in here. So you got that going on and then you got the Nike logo up top. And then check out the spacing because sometimes, you know, to me it looks good, but I know you guys have better eyes than me. So maybe you might see something that I don't, but I think the, the Nike logo passes the test here. Toe box, boom! We all know about the toe box. It's got to fold, it's got to crinkle. It's legit. It folds, it tumbles pretty good. And this is one of the older model J's, so you can't expect it to do too much folding, but it folds, it does well, it does good. The midsole, pretty standard Jordan 1 midsole. PK hit it right on the head. I mean, it's, it's pretty hard to mess that up too at the same time, you know. There, there isn't no extra paint slab anywhere, or anything like that. Everything looks pretty tight, pretty nice, pretty good. It's, uh, I can't complain, got a good grip to it. Uh, there are some glue marks on here though. There are some glue marks, I will say that. Um, there, you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There are some little glue stain that have kind of made it onto the leather a little bit, but yeah, like that, you can see a little bit of glue right there. But I mean, I think that type of stuff varies from sneaker to sneaker, man. That's a, uh, that's something that, you know, from sneaker to sneaker, yeah, uh, retail, UA, you're gonna have glue splash, excess glue or whatever you wanna call it. I've seen them on retails too, so it's not, not really a call out. The outsole, bam! Pretty standard Jordan outsole. I've seen some that have concaves, but this is pretty flat, this one's legit. But I've seen some that have concaved, and if you see it concaves inside of the middle here, then you know that's a dead giveaway that this is not retail. But this one here, flush, looks good. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Very good, very good. When I first got the shoe, I was excited, opened it up, took a smell, woo, smelled like glue. So it did have that glue smell, that factory smell. It didn't smell like a like a, a, a foot action or foot locker, like when you get your sneakers from there, it doesn't didn't smell like that. It was, it had that hot glue kind of smell going on uh, with it. But to me, not a big deal because you put them outside or you put you leave them out of the box, they air out, the smell's gone. Like now, warm a couple times, smells like a tennis shoe, not a big deal. Man, maybe got a little bit, a little bit faint, faint, faint in there, but it'll go away in time. Not a big deal, not a big deal at all. But if you go into a reseller, make sure you take a, mm, take a smell, take a whiff, take a whiff. Cause if it smells like that glue, you know you ain't dealing with retail. Retail doesn't smell like glue. Man, the black light test. I was rooting for PK and they let me down in that regard. The rest of the shoe, the shoe, the shoe came out hard, but that black light test, I hit it with the black light test. All the sewing patterns was just boom. <laughs> Blew up on this thing like, like nobody's business. I mean, you had the whole blueprint of the sneaker sewing. You had the whole blueprint all over the shoe. The Nike swoosh had sewing marks, top portion of the, the brim here. The upper part of the shoe had sewing patterns. It had 
sign marks on the back of the shoe. The midsole has some kind of weird stamp on it. I'm assuming that's the stamp, the approval stamp that this shoe is good to go. It's flawless and it's good to go, but it definitely had a stamp on the, on the midsole. And it also had sewing patterns in the toe box as well. So that was another thing. Even the tongue, man, the tongue also had sewing marks on here. And you know, that kind of disappointed me. I wanted to not see any sewing marks on here because you step inside of a club and boys is gonna be like hey man you see that boy sneaker man hey man that boy sneaker look like he just put that together <laughs> that boy stuff ain't looking right so that's that could be a call out on the flip side of that you know you get a baby wipe me and my old lady got baby wipe wiped it down and it started dissipating so to me not a big deal because I'm still rock it. Probably not to no club or nothing like that, but I'll still rock the shoe. I don't even care like that. You want to call me out? Call me out. I ain't tripping. No, I didn't pay $1,500. You got me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you're going for a reseller, make sure you take your black light with you. I'm not going to say all PK kicks come with this issue. This particular shoe came with this issue. And I think that Man, that's crazy. So if it happens, I gotta call it out. You know, I gotta keep it a buck across the board all the time. This is not a sponsored video. Even if it was sponsored, I'm definitely gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. Your trust is important to me and I'm not gonna mishandle that at all. Definitely failed the black light test. PK, you need to step your game up with that. Other than that, shoe looks good. How comfortable was this sneaker? It was comfortable. It felt like my Jordan 1 workhorses that I had, man. My all black joints. It felt just like that. They were definitely comfortable. I enjoyed wearing them. You know, I was a little weary because when I hit it with the black light and all that stuff popped up, all the markings popped up. I said, like, oh man, this thing ain't gonna be right. You know, this thing ain't gonna be, but it was comfortable. It was straight, it was legit. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't bugging on that. It felt perfect uh, skating in them. It was, you know, jumped on the board with them and you know it was straight it was good they they, they passed my scale of the shoe from one to ten i'm gonna give it an 8.5 boom 8.5 reason why i give it an 8.5 is because i'm gonna mark it one for the black light test that's one point off because it failed the black light test and then i know for my viewers that that is going to be an issue for them and that's a deal breaker for some people so i'm going to mark that a point as well half a point as well so one point for me half a point for the audience giving it an 8.5 if you disagree comment below let me know what you think go ahead and give me what you think about the shoe from one to ten is it hot is it not you let me know Anyways, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of y'all's hair, man. It's your boy, AB. I appreciate y'all stopping by, taking a look at my sneaker review. Again, this is the Air Jordan 1 Chicago Colorway by PK, Perfect Kicks. If you like what you saw, go ahead, hit the like button on there real quick for your boy. If you didn't like what you see, go ahead and leave a comment below. And I just wanna make the perfect video for you guys, man. So that way you enjoy the content that I put out because I make it for you. I don't make it for me, I make it for you. These are educational videos so that y'all know what's up when y'all are out there purchasing your sneakers all right so it's your boy ab i appreciate your time but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here man good vibes only remember that good vibes only i'm gonna holla at y'all all right Nate.